Next on 13 News, fire tears through a home in Norfolk, killing two people, sending a firefighter to the hospital. 13 News is live on the scene with the very latest, next. My daughter. My son. My daughter, Katie. Joined the National Guard. I think she made the right decision. The change was just it was a complete 180 degrees. She's a more confident woman. More focused. More self-reliant. Kept his room clean. <laughs> I think that there are some real great opportunities to learn a skill, to get a college education. The Guard runs from A to Z as far as jobs go. My daughter has given a honorable service to the country. We supported her 100%. I'm very proud of him. Find out more about the Guard by visiting 1-800-GO-GUARD.COM. Don't let the year end without seeing our bold new lineup at the Dodge Premier Event. The all-new Nikos pumping adrenaline alongside the fuel-efficient new Dodge Caliber. They join the newly redesigned Durango, Dakota with best-in-class overall interior room, and Dodge Ram, the longest-lasting line of pickups. Before the year's over, get $5,000 cash allowance on Ram 1500 or grab great deals on our remaining 2006 models. Check out Ram and all of our bold lineup before the year is over. 13 News at 11 starts right now. His reign of terror in Iraq is forever over. Saddam Hussein put to death today for crimes against humanity. And saying farewell to a president, the nation remembers the life and service of our 38th president, Gerald Ford. Good Saturday evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Vanessa Coria. We begin tonight with breaking news out of Norfolk. 13 News was first on the scene of a deadly house fire in the Ghent section of the city. You are looking at a live picture from our 13 News tower cam. The fire broke out just after 7 tonight in the 500 block of Pembroke Avenue. We're told two people did not survive the fire. A Norfolk firefighter was also injured while trying to put out the blaze. We'll of course have more details coming up in a live report. But our big story this Saturday night, an evening of touching tributes to our nation's 38th president. Gerald Ford has returned to Washington one last time where his body will lie in state until Tuesday. You're looking at a live picture from the Capitol Rotunda tonight as mourners pass through to pay their final respects to the man known as the accidental president. Reporter Yunji Denise has more. Funeral services for President Gerald Ford in the Capitol Rotunda were a marriage of modesty and tradition. The president's casket paused at the door of the House of Representatives, where Mr. Ford served for 25 years before he was appointed to the vice presidency and then the presidency. Services were briefly interrupted when former Michigan Representative William Broomfield collapsed. The 84-year-old was escorted out in a wheelchair. President Ford was remembered tonight for his leadership in a time of turmoil. We needed a healer. We needed a rock. We needed honesty and candor and courage. We needed Gerald Ford. Vice President Dick Cheney, who served as President Ford's chief of staff, spoke of the 38th president's humility and kindness. He praised President Ford's then controversial decision but to pardon Richard Nixon. America was spared the worst, and this was the doing of an American president. And in the final stage of this public service came a very personal moment as Betty Ford said goodbye after 58 years. Immediately after the service, hundreds of people lined up outside the Capitol Rotunda to pay their respects to Gerald Ford. Thousands more are expected to visit over the next two days. Yanji Denise, ABC News, Washington. Now back to that deadly house fire in the Ghent section of Norfolk. 13 News reporter Mary Nelson is live from the scene with more for us. Mary. Vanessa, investigators are still here on the scene. They are investigating and keeping an eye on the hot spots. You can see some of the firefighters resting right there. I am near the Hague River in one of the oldest sections of Norfolk, a row of stately turn of the century homes. And word is spreading quickly here that a fire in one of these homes killed two people, injured a third, and a firefighter who was fighting the fire at the time. A survivor of the fire is surrounded by friends and firefighters. The impact of the night's fire written on his face. Firefighters say the man jumped from a third-story window to a balcony where firefighters rescued him. Then we started seeing some flames on the east side, both on the second floor and the first floor. And uh, the sound of breaking glass and then smoke started coming out around the eaves all the way around, circumferentially around the attic. 
Mallory Reed and others living along Pembroke and Old Gant watch as firefighters try to stop the fire, unsure whether the others who live in the home, an elderly couple, are okay. They're a wonderful couple. We've enjoyed living close to them. Uh, and we're sorry that this happened to their house, and hopefully they're, they have done well because no one seems to know where they are. This couple frantically looks for the man who survived the fire. They've been friends with the couple who neighbors are concerned about for years. Finally, firefighters confirm what neighbors here feared. Two people died inside the home. One body found on the third floor, the other discovered on the first floor in the rear of the home. The identities of the two victims likely will not be released until later this week because of the holidays. We are told that the owner of the home was a retired banker. Again, firefighters can't say for sure whether or not he is one of the victims. The cause of the fire is still not known. We'll have an update for you tomorrow on 13 News. Live in Norfolk, Mary Nelson, 13 News. The news of Saddam Hussein's death is echoing around the world tonight. Hanged for crimes against humanity, the body of the ousted dictator is now in Tikrit. While Saddam's death signifies the end to a reign of terror, it may not be enough to stop the violence. Reporter Gloria Riviera has more. In his final moments, Saddam Hussein remained defiant, refusing to wear a hood as he walked to his death. Iraqi officials released this video so Iraqis would believe the execution had been carried out and this photo as proof it was complete. The White House says President Bush learned the execution had been carried out when he woke this morning around 4.30 a.m. There were celebrations across Iraq and in such places as Dearborn, Michigan. Saddam going to join the list of all the monsters in hell and we are so happy finally justice has been served. The execution came nearly two months after Saddam Hussein was convicted and sentenced to death for his role in the killings of 148 Shiite Muslims. Reaction came from around the world. The killing of the guilty is not the way to rebuild justice and reconcile society. Putting the guilty to death might fuel the spirit of vengeance. Iraq remains tense. After news of the execution, there were at least two car bomb attacks in Iraq, leaving 30 dead and dozens more wounded. But by Iraqi standards, it was a calm day. The threat continues for U.S. troops. December has proven to be one of the deadliest yet for U.S. forces, with over 100 casualties reported. Gloria Riviera, ABC News, New York. People all over Hampton Roads are reacting to Saddam's hanging, and while many of us have been following the coverage on the news, a William & Mary professor has a more personal connection. Grading papers takes on a whole new meaning for William & Mary professor Linda Malone when you realize what she's grading. These memos, written by her students, contain information used by the Iraqi judges who decided Saddam Hussein's fate. When the trial started, it was clear that the judges of the Iraqi tribunal needed help doing legal research on complex international law issues. Some of the judges' questions were sent to Malone, who assigned them to her law students. They acted as law clerks, researching and then sending their findings back to the judges, ultimately impacting their decision. Those same students started calling Malone when they heard about Hussein's hanging. I think it was hasty. I, I wish it hadn't come about as quickly as it did, but that was something that was very much in the hands of the Iraqi government. She says what happens next, now that Hussein is gone, is also in the Iraqis' hands. But what is evident, according to Malone, is that research performed by local students, which can be found in the 300-page opinion issued by the trial court in Iraq, will have an impact on future prosecutions. In the long term, in terms of what the impact of the decision will be in future prosecutions and situations like this, um, the opinions themselves will be very influential. Malone tells us she and her students will continue providing law research for the trials, which will continue in Iraq. A day of violence in Iraq as the nation celebrates Islam's biggest holiday, their first without Saddam Hussein. At least 80 Iraqis died in bombings and other attacks around Baghdad. The U.S. military says six American troops were also killed. Officials say there's no indication the attacks were connected to Saddam's death. Shots fired in Newport News tonight. A woman is dead. 
her killer on the run. 23-year-old Tiffany Cooper was shot to death last night in the 700 block of 35th Street. Police say she was riding in a car with two friends when gunfire broke out. Cooper was shot in the head. Her friend shot in the leg and ankle. Both victims were taken to the hospital where Cooper died. Tonight, neighbors calling the young woman's death senseless. She didn't mess with nobody, right. you know, she stayed to herself. You can be driving, minding your business, then you know, always there's a hater somewhere standing back. Ain't nothing but haters out here. Police are still investigating to find out exactly what led to the shooting. If you have any information that can help them in their investigation, you're asked to call Crime Line at the number on your screen. Another double shooting, this one in Norfolk. Tonight, police looking for the gunman in that one. They say two men were arguing inside a home on Mason Avenue when shots were fired. 28-year-old Tremaine Baker died from his injuries as a result. Neighbors say they're shocked by the violence. And I was just sitting here saying that I was going to stay in on Sunday. And this neighborhood is very nice and quiet. I'm just real shocked. No word tonight on the condition of the other victim. A house fire in Chesapeake is under investigation. It broke out around 3.30 this afternoon in the 2100 block of Sparrow Road. Fire investigators believe a candle in the rear of the home may have ignited the fire. We're told the family who rents the home was able to get out safely. Still to come on 13 News, remembering a University of Vermont student killed on campus. Tonight, the scholarship given in her memory to help other students finish school. Plus, the final tour of James Brown wraps up with a musical tribute to him at a Georgia arena bearing his name. And a storm system in the middle part of the country looks like it'll give us a wet start to 2007. We'll have the full 7-day forecast coming up. After searching the world's greatest automobiles, I think you'll find the one that deserves to reside in your driveway will be one from Charles Barker Automotive. Possibly the best automotive value on earth. A Toyota, Lexus, Scion, or Infiniti from one of our dealerships gives you the security and the peace of mind that you've made the right choice. I am proud to put my name on them. Charles Barker Automotive, delivering great car buying and service experiences every day. Newport News and Virginia Beach. new Chryslers before the year ends at the Chrysler Premier Event. See the debut of our first SUV, the new Chrysler Aspen, and the all-new Sebring Sedan. They join the new, more powerful Pacifica, the town and country with stow-and-go seating, and the award-winning Chrysler 300 with available all-wheel drive. Before the year's over, get $1,000 cash allowance on Chrysler 300C or grab great deals on our remaining 2006 models. C300 and the rest of our new lineup before the year is over. We're the West family, stationed at Anderson Air Force Base, Guam. This message is going to the West family in Hampton, Virginia. Happy holiday! Hi, this is the Watson from RAF Lake and East. We'd like to say Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays to our family and friends back in Hampton, Virginia. Katie, say hi, Grammy. Hi, hi Grammy. Presented by Taco Bell, Northrop Grumman, and 13 News, the spirit of Hampton Roads. We're down to the final days of Victory Nissan's national year-end sales event. That's right. Interest rates starting at just 0%, zero money down, and no payments for a full three months. A 2006 Nissan Sentra for just $119 per month or a 2006 Nissan Titan just $229 per month. And when we make a deal, we'll pay off your current lease alone no matter how much you owe. Final markdowns have been made on everything in stock, and all incentive rebates and discounts will expire soon. Hey, time is running out, so hurry into Victory Nissan's year-end sales event today. See the new Jeep 4x4s before the year ends at the Jeep Premier event. The new four-door Wrangler Unlimited just arrived alongside the all-new Jeep Compass. They join Liberty with the government's highest side crash test rating. Jeep Commander with three rows of seating. And Grand Cherokee, part of the most award-winning brand of 4x4s. Before the year's over, get $3,500 cash allowance on Grand Cherokee or grab great deals on our remaining 2006 models. See Commander, Grand Cherokee, and the rest of our lineup before the year is over. 
Thousands of James Brown's fans said goodbye to the Godfather of Soul this afternoon in Augusta, Georgia. The funeral ceremony at James Brown Arena was a celebration of his life and the influence he had on music. The Reverend Al Sharpton presided and several celebrities paid tribute to the legendary performer. Brown is my greatest inspiration. And when I saw him move, I was mesmerized. Jay Today's service wraps up several days of memorials in New York City and Georgia honoring the musician. You'll recall Brown died of heart failure on Christmas morning in Atlanta. A tip reportedly led to the arrest of a North Carolina mother accused of kidnapping her 17-month-old twins. Police say 49-year-old Allison Quetz was supposed to return her biological children to their adoptive parents after a brief holiday visit. Quetz allegedly did not return them on time and instead took them to Canada. The twins are now in the custody of Canadian Social Services until their parents can pick them up. Quetz faces federal charges of international parental kidnapping. A scholarship has been set up in the memory of a Virginia woman murdered earlier this year. The family of victim Michelle Gardner Quinn says the scholarship will benefit a University of Vermont student interested in, vi in environmental studies. That's the same field Gardner Quinn was studying when she was abducted from the Vermont campus last October. A Vermont man has been arrested and charged in her death. National Guard troops are in Colorado today rescuing people trapped by the region's second holiday blizzard. The storm hit Denver Thursday, bringing more than two feet of snow to the area. Blizzard warnings have been posted for the eastern part of the state, south to the Texas Panhandle. Hundreds of passengers remain stranded at the Denver International Airport. Colorado's governor has declared a statewide disaster. From the 13 News Weather Lab, here's meteorologist Evan Stewart. And it's that same storm system that'll bring us some rain as we ring in 2007. But the big concern tonight, some dense fog in a few locations that could develop here in the next few hours. And that's what's topping our weather headlines on this Saturday night. Patchy dense fog in a few locations. We had some fog around this morning. I think areas closer to the coast where we don't see the cloud cover quite as thick as we do in western parts of Hampton Roads will have the best chances of seeing that dense fog overnight. Then a cloudy day on Sunday with a chance of an afternoon shower and a shower or two around midnight. But I think the bulk of the rain will probably hold off until after midnight. As we take a look at live high definition weather lab radar, it's sweeping clear across Hampton Roads right now. So as we wind the view, we can take a look at that storm system that is still bringing this band of snow from the Texas Panhandle all the way up to Omaha, Nebraska and up into parts of the Dakotas. But on the south side of it, we have this line of strong thunderstorms that is moving off towards the east. By the time this area of rain gets here, it'll be mainly in the form of showers. I don't think we have any risk of seeing any thunderstorms, but it'll be moving through. And we'll see some pretty windy conditions on Monday, the first day of 2007. Let's take you back 12 hours ago, show you the satellite and radar. And again, notice that throughout much of the day, we have mostly sunny skies, but the clouds have been working in from the west in advance of that storm system. And a couple of sprinkles down here across western North Carolina into South Carolina. That's why we can't totally rule out an isolated shower or two as we head through tomorrow afternoon. But again, notice the bulk of the rain still well out towards the west. We had a high temperature today of 57 degrees after morning low of 34. The normal high is 49, so above normal once again today. The record 74 set back in 1990 and a record low of 5 degrees set back in 1917. And we're about 3.5 inches above normal for rainfall for the year. Outside right now, 46 degrees on the south side, 43 on the peninsula. Winds are calm, humidity is high. That's why we have to include the fog in the forecast. 46 right now in Suffolk, 43 in Newport News, 41 Hampton, 42 in Virginia Beach, 49 in Elizabeth City, 48 in Currituck, and still in the lower 50s down towards Kill Devil Hills and Manio. So timing things out for you overnight. Notice the clouds continue to thicken up. So partly cloudy to mostly cloudy skies overnight and mostly cloudy skies through the day on Sunday. A shower too possible. But again, the bulk of the rain will come in after midnight. And it looks like it'll be a pretty windy day on Monday with winds gusting up to 30 miles per hour out of the south. That'll warm things up into the mid-60s, but we will have to deal with this rain around as we go through the day Monday. And it looks like it'll clear out of here by Tuesday. So the forecast for overnight, partly cloudy, some patchy dense fog, light winds, overnight lows in the lower 40s and mid-50s tomorrow under mostly cloudy skies and an easterly wind at 10 to 15 miles per hour. Same thing off towards the north, 53 in north, 54 in Newport News and 52 in Keller and in northeastern
western North Carolina. Chance of a few showers, 53 in Duck and about 59 in Edenton. Seven-day forecast, the weekend always in view, mid-60s on a Monday as we ring in 2007 with rain and wind. Clearing out for Tuesday, 56 and 53 on Wednesday under mostly sunny skies and 57 Thursday and back up to near 60 by Friday and Saturday with another chance at some rain. Don't forget, WVEC.com has the full forecast available at your fingertips 24 hours a day. We're not just ringing in the new year, we're ringing in a rainstorm. Yes, we are. We might be ringing out some coats, too. Yeah, no the, kidding. Take the, the umbrella rain. with you. Yeah. Okay, thank you, Evan. Yeah. What's up with our favorite teams today? Uh, we're about to find out, Seriously. aren't we? Just ahead, could the Redskins make it a miserable offseason for the Giants? And in college football, would it indeed be a happy new year for the Hokies coming up as they took on Georgia from Atlanta in the Chick-fil-A Peach Bowl. Well, it's no longer the Peach Bowl. No. This weather segment is brought to you by Dodge. This year, top your wish list with the new Lincoln MKZ. 263 horsepower, an award-winning interior, all with zero cash due at signing for just $3.99 a month. During the Lincoln Mercury wish list event. in the old neighborhood, but without the money for college, all he got was the old neighborhood. Support the United Negro College Fund. A mind is a terrible thing to waste. Everybody, here. everybody, let's get it started. Ford's year-end event is counting down. It's your last chance to get your best deal on our best sellers. Get F-Series, America's undisputed leader, and get the strength of F-150, the power of Super Duty, or get a Ford Ranger, the most fuel-efficient truck out there. Hurry, because it all ends January 2nd. Get a Ford F-150 now with up to 5,500 cash back or choose 0% financing for 60 months plus $1,000 year-end bonus cash. This year, top your wish list with the new Lincoln MKZ. 263 horsepower, an award-winning interior, all with zero cash due at signing for just $3.99 a month. During the Lincoln Mercury wish list event. Tis the season for happy Honda days. And what better way to celebrate than to save on your favorite Honda? Like the best overall value Accord, the rugged Ridgeline, the fuel-efficient eight-passenger Pilot, they're all just waiting for you at your Honda dealer. A brand new Honda will definitely put you in the holiday spirit. Happy Honda Days. Lease a Honda Accord for $1.99 a month for well-qualified customers. And now, 13 News Sports with Brian Smith. Well, being defensive can usually be considered a bad thing. Not when it concerns tonight's Chick-fil-A Bowl from Atlanta. Two of the top tens best in the country going at it tonight as Georgia took on number 14, Virginia Tech. The Hokies ranked number one in that category. To the Georgia Dome we go. We mentioned defense. That is the freshman for Georgia. Matthew Stafford getting picked by Brendan Hill from out of Newport News. Went to Warwick High, gets the pick, and the Hokies were in business. That helped set up this one-yard plunge from former Indian River High product, Brandon Orr. And the Hokies were in business. Frank Beamer pretty happy about it. That was in the second quarter. Still in the second. That's Eddie Royal. Off the punt return. Yo! Could have broken it. Not quite. Got knocked out of bounds. It set up another or touchdown and a 14-3 lead. Same period. Glennon to Royal. Sean Glennon to Royal to Sam Wheeler. 53 yards. Tech well in front. 21-3. But wait a minute. Fourth quarter. Georgia comes back to try and tie it. And that's a touchdown run, three yards by Craig Lumpkin. Two-point good. Tech, man, turnovers killed them. Glennon picked off twice, both by Tony Taylor. That one down to about the two. It set up a score. And currently, right now, in the fourth period, with just under a minute 30 left, 
Uh, Georgia in front 31 to 24. Brandon Orr unofficially with 39 yards rushing. If we hear of a final, we'll let you know. Uh, let's continue our bowling day. That's Boston College's Frank Spaziani, interim coach. He was a former UVA assistant under George Wells. They were taking on Navy in the Meineke Bowl. Midshipman, that's uh, Capo Noah Kayako Enyata. 24-yard TD pass to Jason Tomlinson. 21-13 middies. Back come D.C. Matt Ryan to Ryan Purvis. Good for 24 yards, and they're within two. 24-22. Three seconds left. Steve Apinavicious. He was a walk-on. Nobody heard of the guy. Comes through with the game winner as time expires. BC wins 25 to 24. At the Alamo Bowl from San Antonio, Texas, Drew Tate of Iowa back in his home state. Taking on the defending national champion, Texas Longhorns. Hawkeyes already up 7-0. Tate to Andy Burdell. Gone. 63 yards, 14-0. Iowa. But wait a minute. Back come the horns. Colt McCoy. To Lima Swede, 20 yards, Texas down 2014. Colt McCoy, not done. Pulls out the six shooter, and it's going up 72 yards to Jamal Charles. Texas holds on to win it 26 to 24. Uh, let's talk Tiki Barber. NFL, could this be his last game as a giant? They needed to win against the Redskins tonight to have any chances of any playoff hopes. Redskins trying to spoil the party. That's Antoine Randall L to Santana Moss, 7-3 Washington, but back come the Giants. Second quarter, Barber breaking through from 15 yards. G-Men with a 10-7 advantage. He had 23 carries, franchise record 234 yards, and a career high. This one, 55 yards. Man, the Giants were in business at this point. That made it 17-7, and yeah, uh, Jason Campbell paid a little bit of a price. Brandon Short rings his bell. And the Redskins wind up going down 34-28 to the Giants. Uh, they end their season at 5-11. The Giants still with hope of getting into the playoffs. When we come back, we'll talk women's college hoops. The Lady Monarchs of ODU trying to turn a new page and end their year of 2006 with a boost of confidence as Rutgers came to town. Sign up for WVEC.com breaking news email alerts. Interactive access to breaking news, plus instant email warnings from the 13 News Weather Lab as dangerous conditions develop. Wherever you are, what's happening now? Sign up for breaking news email alerts from WVEC.com. Happy Honda Days. It's clearance time at your Hampton Roads Honda dealers. You've waited all year. Now get the lowest Honda clearance prices and payments. Plus, low 3.9% clearance financing is available. But it all ends January 2nd. Hurry to your Hampton Roads Honda dealers. 11 a.m. Sunday. In the last seven hours of the year, Haynes will take the price of furniture lower than any store has ever gone. 35 to 70% lower, in fact. Not odds and ends, not a few selected pieces. 35 to 70% lower in every department store-wide. And in these last seven hours of the year, you get another two. Two years to pay with no interest ever. These are the last seven hours of the year, and we're taking prices down with us. 11 a.m. to 6 p.m., Sunday at Haynes. We're down to the final days of Victory Nissan's national year-end sales event. That's right. Interest rates starting at just 0%, zero money down, and no payments for a full three months. A 2006 Nissan Altima for just $189 per month or a 2006 Nissan Xterra just $229 per month. And when we make a deal, we'll pay off your current lease alone no matter how much you owe. Final markdowns have been made on everything in stock, and all incentive rebates and discounts will expire soon. Hey, time is running out, so hurry into Victory Nissan's year-end sales event today. Hi, I'm David Allen. And I'm Regina Mobley. The One for the Community Entertainment Books are here. And that means great savings for you. Nonprofit organizations and schools will be selling the books all year long. These books provide great discount coupons for your favorite local restaurants and fun attractions. The money raised helps nonprofit groups and educational programs. One for the Community is proudly sponsored by A1 American Plumbing, Heating, and Air Conditioning. We're not just A1, we're A1 American. And WVEC TV 13, in the spirit of Hampton Roads. Oh, chill, half cap latte, chino, mocha, do it avec moi. My mouth can't form these words. Is it French or is it Italian? Perhaps Fritalian. 
delicious lattes from Dunkin' Donuts. You order them in English, not for Italian. America runs on Dunkin'. Kick off your holiday with a Dunkin' Donuts new gingerbread latte. A great way to get in the holiday spirit. Clearance time is this week at your Hampton Roads Honda dealers. Rush in for the lowest clearance prices and payments on the full Honda line. Like brand new Accords, just $1.99 a month. Hurry in. It all ends January 2nd at your Hampton Roads Honda dealers. Close captioning of 13 News is sponsored by Dodge. Grab life by the horns. Dodge. Well, just a report to you. The uh, Chick-fil-A Bowl just over. Uh, of course, in that contest, Virginia Tech losing 31-24 to the Georgia Bulldogs. Now on to college hoops. The ODU Lady Monarchs wanting to end their 2006 season with a good feeling. Old Dominion hosting Rutgers this afternoon. Wendy Larry, a New Jersey native, taking on Vivian Stringer and her squad out of Rutgers. Her assistant might look familiar to ODU fans. Former Lady Monarch head coach Mary Ann Stanley in her first year as assistant. ODU looked like they were going to get off to a fast start. Jasmine Walters from out of Lake Taylor to TJ Jordan out of Wilson High. Three-pointer and a foul. She got a four-point play, and she added ten points. Uh, but the Lady Monarchs went stone cold for nearly seven minutes without a field goal. That's Epiphany Prince with a three. She led them with 17. Then Kia Vaughn, 16 points. They built a double-digit lead before the half. Walters, the steal, and dish to Jen Nuzzo from out of Woodside. They trailed 35-29 to break. Second half, Sharita Triggs feeds Tish Lyons, also from out of the wood. She added 14 points. She shared high honors. And yeah, Triggs had 14 points. Lady Marks win 72 to 55. They'll next play VCU on Thursday. West Georgia winner over the Lady Vikings of Elizabeth City State. CNU by two of Oswego State. Fairmont loses to Elizabeth City State men. Virginia Tech loses by one to Marshall. George Mason a winner. VCU loses to App State 73-70. And James Madison by four over New Jersey Tech. NBA hoops. Alonzo Mourning in the heat, having their issues with the Magic. They were, of course, without, uh, of course, Dwayne Wade, Shaquille O'Neal. Uh, it didn't matter. All heat. They win 97 to 68. Also, Hershey winds up beating the Admirals 7 to 4, despite Brandon Bashensky's hat trick. Hat trick, wow. A hat trick. That's awesome. Yeah. That's going to do it for us tonight. Have a great night, everybody. See you back here tomorrow evening. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. forgot. See the exciting new Chryslers before the year ends at the Chrysler Premier Event. See the debut of our first SUV, the new Chrysler Aspen, and the all-new Sebring sedan. They join the new, more powerful Pacifica, the award-winning Chrysler 300 with available all-wheel drive, and the town and country with stow-and-go seating and storage. Before the year's over, get $4,000 cash allowance on town and country or grab great deals on our remaining 2006 models. See town and country and the rest of our new lineup before the year is over. Come on, guys, we're running late. Your world probably moves at amazing speeds, sometimes in circles. That's why WBEC.com gets to the point. Connecting you to the news of now at work, where breaking news email alerts keep you in the loop. At home, so your updates are fast every second. When the 13 News Weather Lab calls for severe conditions, get weather alert emails wherever you are. Even on the move, information reaches you the rest of your day. WBEC.com connects you to the news of now and what's in store for tomorrow. Your weekends are about to get hotter, sexier, and a lot more deadly. Miami Air, man, makes people do things they never do back home. On CSI Miami, weekends. So we're looking for a body. Murder weapon. Your hunch was right. It's a homicide. It's time to rock. Miami Dade Police! With the crime scene investigators who are definitely on a roll. DNA evidence and science. Bingo. It's time for CSI Miami, weekends. Next on WVEC TV 13. Hello? So, right now at Room Store, we can finance all the furniture we want without paying any interest? Righto. Or we could choose no interest and no